Hi, collective. How are you? How is everyone? This is Healing Hands. I hope you're all doing all right. Um, okay, guys. Um, I was in my kitchen trying to cook or make some rice, boil some rice. Um, and messages just kept coming, and um, Spirit was like, pull this deck. And I'm like, which deck? And it was the lights, see, the work your lights oracle decks. And then I heard the light seers um, deck. So I pulled this one too. And I'm saying to myself, the messages are they for me or is it for the collective? But I said to myself, it doesn't matter. I'm sure it's not my message. <laughs> I'm sure it's for the collective. So why am I asking? That's just spirit reminding me, go do your tarot reading. <laughs> go do your tarot reading, you know. Um... So let's dig in, guys. I am not going to even waste any more time. Let's dig in and see what the messages are from spirits. So this will not resonate for everyone or with everybody. But I'm hoping that because you're led here or you're drawn to the you know um, video, you will find something that um, can help you better understand whatever you're going through at the moment okay so let's start with this one holy spirit archangel michael spirit guides the guides for the collective can we get the most poignant message for my collective i don't know who this message is for at this time who is this message for at this time there's something about or your guides are coming through. All right, again. I mean, in the last how many readings, your guides have been coming through. Like, they have messages for you. And I'm getting, if you're not getting it intuitively, we're going to be giving it to you here. So, it looks like maybe some of you, like I said in my last reading, last video that I posted about your spirit guide or somebody's spirit team trying to come across, but they are not receiving it. Guys, I hope you all are receiving this message. Um, I hope it's making sense. Um, but I keep getting messages about, you know, you know, not receiving the messages and needing to receive. And your guides are actually all here, present, and present assistant. And it's about karmic lessons. They are trying to teach you something that you're meant to maybe have closed out this cycle is what I'm hearing. But might be lingering cycle or cycles for some of you. All right. So I'm picking that up. And because it's a number seven tells me I know what the heck I'm talking about. Because I associate um, seven with spiritual, like, downloads, messages, and connectivity with um, my archangels. So, all right. I haven't used, I don't think I've ever used this deck for any reading at all. And I'm like, I don't even know what's in this deck. Why am I being led here? So I need to, like, shuffle, 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 shuffle. To be able to um, make sure that we're picking, getting the right energy for you guys. And they are so stiff, all glued together. So, all right, so let's try again. Spirit, what is the message for the collective? All right, we'll have one. I tell you, some of you have spirit guides. There are messages being thrown at you. And guys, let me tell you, these messages are all over. Have you watched the movie The Matrix? You see the way Neo is standing and all those numbers. He's standing like in the middle where you have numbers. That's exactly how it is. <laughs> when your reality, reality gets clearer, you will understand it. That's exactly how it is. We have numbers thrown at us everywhere. They are all, they're flying all around you, me. Messages, all right? And this, these numbers are encoded with messages that are meant for you. But because we're not paying attention, we don't receive it. Now, this is glued, I think. It has how many cards? I don't know if I want to take all three. But let's see what messages we have in there, all right? So there's something here about the Council of Light. It says, Divine Orchestration Helpers in the Subtle Realm. So I'm picking up energy again about messages trying to come through for somebody and not coming through. 
and I'm thinking maybe even messages and mani manifestations um, help from the other side, from the spirit realm, but somebody is not getting it. So, and I've, I feel like it's a, a long overdue kind of blessings or messages or something that's going to help somebody. All right. Um, there's something about, you know, karmic lessons that you should have learned. Maybe some people are lingering in that energy and they need to move. Some of you are light workers. Some of you need to um, be on your path, all right? Some of you are experiencing delays. Some of you are not moving spiritually and spirit wants you to, all right? So I feel like there is something that has to do with your spirituality also and your ability to ascend that spirit is calling out that some of you ought to have closed out whatever is holding you back, the stagnancy. Um, and they're trying to, you know, teach you or help guide you or help you through this whole journey. But it looks like for whatever reason, some of you are not paying attention either to numbers, synchronicities or signs that, you know, they're placing around you. Because sometimes you will walk out of your house and see like a feather on the floor. It might be a white feather, black feather. If you're awakened or you're aware or you're awoke, right? Your mind is sharp. You would see it, right? And if you're if you're in tune with your intuition, you will go and Google black feather. If maybe even go a step further, if your intuition leads you to say, okay, black feather with one spot or black feather with on the roadside, you know, and get your messages. There are messages there that are supposed to be for, you know, leading you and guiding you and protecting you and just helping you make this journey easy. It's not meant to be difficult, all right? But we make it difficult because we do not listen, all right? There's something here about listening. Okay, as I said that, your inner temple, listening to your inner guidance, listening to your inner self. It's talking about devotion, tuning to the portal of your heart. Yeah, I think the last reading we also talked about tuning in, about connecting with your higher self. It's been... Like the last three or four readings has been, there was one reading that had like two cards pop up that had to, you know, talk about your higher self. So there is, a, you know, there's a need to get in tune with your higher self. Some of you might, I'm getting this a lot, all right? Some of you might be spiritual or whatever, you know, you've been doing this for years, you know how to do it. But there is a, still a disconnect with your inner self, your inner man, your chi. All right, your Ori in the Ifa tradition and your intuition in the Christian or whatever, you know, other, you know, um, tradition. Okay, there's something about, you know, you needing to connect with your higher self, the inner mind, yourself, self. It's okay to get all these readings and get, you know, um, clarity from other people, but you also need to be able to get it yourself. And there's something here that's pretty like I've been trying to communicate, but I don't know, like they're not getting it. I'm trying, like pay attention, please, collective. You guys need to start paying attention. I mean, these cards, I'm not, you know, making them up. You see that, you see me shuffling them. There's one here that says, don't dim to fit in. How are you dimming your lights in order to fit in? So some of you also have to ask yourself this question. How are you dimming your light to fit in? What are you doing to compromise? What is it that you're doing so that you can, you know, look like your people pleasing? What are you doing that you know inside your mind? Look at this whole pile came inside your mind. You know, whatever it is, um, you're doing it just to fit in. You're not doing it because you're happy doing it. All right, but you're just doing it just because it could be a job, it could be a relationship, it could be um, a career, it could be a business decision, it could be a collaboration with somebody, it could be anything. It could be anything in any area of your life. Ask yourself, why are you doing this? All right, are you compromising? Here it talks about do not dim your light. So never let your light dim, all right, because the people around you are afraid that the lights will blind them right and maybe you know you need to like turn it down a little bit some of you you know um, are flamboyant and you like to turn it down because of other people some of you have all these spiritual gifts but you'd like to turn it down because you don't want people to know some of you have the blessings of you know a lot of um the clear essence clear sentiment clear clear gifts right the five senses and even beyond that but you're turning it down so what are you doing in order to fit in now i have to tell you what i'm hearing 
Fitting in sometimes can come across energetically as hypocrisy, right? When you're just pretending to do something, not because you really want to do it, all right? When people are, are lying to themselves or self-deceit, right? Um, so that also might be the energy that is going out that you need to like maybe pay attention. But there's something about justice, karma again, all right? There's a first reference here to karma and then... We have this second reference right here to karma. So it looks like there's karma that needs to be closed. Justice that has already been given, all right, in certain situations that you're meant to see the manifestation here in your 3D, but you're not. And as I said that, I'm seeing the world, all right, there's a cycle that should have ended or closed out, and you should have definitely seen a forward movement. You should have seen a change in the situation, but it looks like the, the situation has not changed. So some of us are thinking maybe our prayers are not getting answered. Some of us are thinking, you know, what's going on? Like, you know, I mean, you keep doing this and doing that and nothing. You're not seeing anything, right? So there is a, a cycle that has obviously ended. And Spirit is like, it's time for you to now, you know, usher in the, this new cycle. There's a clarity that some of you need to get about a situation, about your life path, about your purpose in life, all right? About where Spirit wants you to go. This, this is the Queen of Swords, and she's all about clarity and no BS. She's all about let's cut through the chase and get down to the truth, all right? So some of you need to cut through the chase and get down to the truth so that you can understand how to manifest and move on to the next, um, I'm hearing, next dimension. So the fifth dimension is here for a lot of us, a lot of light workers, um, but some people are still operating in their 4D, which is that dimension of knowledge and astral traveling and, you know, where people decide, oh, okay, because I have this power, I can do uh, start a business and, you know, go do something, all right? Do something with my creative ability. Not everybody who's called is chosen, right? But, I mean, we all go looking for money, all right? But it's, at, you know, on that 4D that we get stuck. So some of you are stuck on that 4D. Some people found themselves operating in that 4D where they, they can now make money from, you know, spirit gifts because this is all gifts, right? They're all services that we're rendering and collecting money. So how focused are you on the money, all right, rather than, you know, ascension? Because you're meant to ascend beyond the 4D. But we get to the 4D, we get stuck, all right? There's something about the King of Cups, and this talks, again, I, I wanted to say this talks about your emotion, but it's, it's telling me now... <laughs> about meditation prayers connecting for some of you i've said i said this in the in the last i don't know couple three readings like i said this yesterday again about the need can somebody quiet your mind yesterday i think the the card that came out had to do with stillness and quieting your mind today again i'm seeing that message repeating here about you know somebody needing to connect there is a need to connect all right so that you can um get all the clarity there's a king and a queen here I think, of swords, if I'm not mistaken. Did I see a queen of swords earlier on? There's a king of swords. Why am I thinking I saw a... Yeah, I saw a queen of swords right here. I'm not crazy. <laughs> so, there is a duality here. All right, there's a dual energy here that needs to be balanced, that needs to come together. There is something here that you're needing and i have a feeling someone like i said earlier on has completed a lesson a cycle you've been able to bring your feminine and masculine energy in balance in some area of your life because remember we have to maintain the balance is natural law right and in order for you to remain in balance right i mean every um, lesson that we learn we have to show that we we are balanced in terms of our feminine and masculine energy being able to balance our emotional and nurturing side and that loving aspect of ourselves with the logical and more um you know cut through kind of energy right so when you been able to successfully balance those energies you now move to your next level all right so 
some of you, I feel like you've been able to complete whatever this level is. All right. So spirit is like you've completed, you've balanced this area. You need the reward. You've been able to get, you've done the work and you need to be paid for your reward by spirit, by your ascension into a higher dimension. For those of you who are in 3D, for you to move to a 4D or to move to a higher dimension. But some of you are not getting it and you will not get moved into that realm until you get it. Okay. That's um, today's message. I hope that was helpful for someone. Um, do I need to pull an affirmation of the day? All right, let's pull one affirmation card for the day. I just need one spirit, just one. All right, okay, here. It's saying, I am excited to share the things I no longer love or need with people who will love or need them more. All right? Also, as part of your ritual, please give away your old clothes, okay? Give your stuff to people who need them. Donate your stuff to charity. Like, give, donate. Be giving of yourself. Like, some of you do not need to, like, um, um, what's the word I'm trying to get out? Need to, like, um, live in a cluttered environment, okay? You can, you can declutter. That's the word, declutter, right? I'm hearing declutter for some of you, okay? All right. Bye, guys. This is Healing Hands. Until next time. I hope this was useful. Please let me know by leaving a comment, all right? So that way I know I'm not wasting my energy. Thank you. Bye, guys.